And so what I did on this slide is I took a small piece of the, f of the first slide and I just, I just opened it up. So this is, this is with the air band at 400 and this is so the muscle is around around 50 to 40 and then contractions start and very rapidly it goes down to approximately 15 and it basically stays there until the muscle fails and then we release again. But this just shows that even I think each one of these spikes is associated with a contraction of the muscle. So even within this time period, the muscle is, is working and that is driving oxygen down even farther. And then when the muscle relaxes, it, it comes back up a little bit. はい、で400の動きですけれども、あの筋中の,その,あの酸素飽和度、50から 60%、で収縮するときには 15%、でこの状態がフェールまで続く。続きますでここはの上下スパイクあのアップダウンしてますけれどもこれはあの筋収縮しているところですねでこの筋肉が動いてあの酸素が運ばれているこういう状態です。And, and so this, this MOXIE or this near infrared spectroscopy is a very sensitive tool to how the muscle is doing during a proper katsu session. はい、でこのモクシーですとか NIR あの赤外線のセンサーというのは非常に感度が高いですからその時々の,その筋肉の,あの状態をです、ね、きちんとその見ることができます。So, uh, with respect to the MOXIE,、uh, the profound desaturating exercising muscle, when the hemoglobin in the working muscle gets down to 0 to 15% saturated with oxygen, this is what I think is associated with proper or correct katsu. はい、で私が定義するです、ね、あの十分な加圧というのはです、ね、きちんとその飽和,飽和の,あの酸素飽和パーセントが下がる状態ですね、あの運動中に。でそれはあのゼロから十五パーセント、あの酸素の飽和度がそのヘモグロビンで見るとゼロから十五パーセントの状態、これがあの十分なあの効果が上がる数値です。And, and these conditions are associated with muscle failure。でこれがですね、あのマッスルフェイリア、その筋あのフェイリアにつながるところです。So now、uh, we've talked about the moxie, we've talked about the ultrasound. Now we can talk a little bit about the、um, uh, Basically, measuring heart rate, but looking at heart rate and heart rate variability, we're able to have a window into the autonomic function, the balance between sympathetic tone and parasympathetic tone. はい、であのモクシーと超音波の話をしましたので今度はその心拍のモニタリングですねこの心,心拍の,あの変動というのはその自律神経の影響がありましてその交感神経その副交感神経の,あの動きが出てくるところです。And so again, with this setup, we had、um, uh, no bands on, and we did arm curls and hand grip exercise and push ups, and then with, the, with no bands on the legs, and we did double leg squats,、uh, heel toe work, and right and left、uh, single leg squats. This is kind of modified three point exercises. And then we had the cuffs on, and we had them at 100, which in the case of this, Young man is inadequate katsu, or it's not enough to cause the、uh, failure, and we were able to do just sets of exercises, the same exercises. Hi, the Kono Ano Dan Seva, this new Fujuben a katsu, this new Ano Hak Miri HG to you mono nan deskedomo, Kono Hidaringa sono bando nasino jotai nan deskedomo, Kono bando nasino jotai to do yo ni sibeteno exercise or this new Kono yo ni mondai naku kandio surkoto ga dekite shima level this. And in, in his case, his optimal pressure on his arm was 410 millimeters of mercury. At this 410, it's a little hard to believe, but we still had,、uh, we still had Doppler ultrasound blood flow, and we still had red palms with good capillary refill. And the same thing with the、uh, legs, but the legs were at 460. はい、でこの方の,その適正圧というのがちょっと信じられないんですけれども410なんですねあのアームバンドで410そしてレッグバンドで460ということなんですけれどもあのドプラーとそれからあドプラー等のセンサーで見る限りですねあのきちんと毛細血管に血流が届いています。
Uh, this is a different pattern than you see that we just asked the person to do uh, the 25 uh, arm curls for each, each one of these other things. But if, if you ask them to do as many as they can, this, this young man would do hundreds before he was tired. はい、であのこちらのケースで,です、ね、フェールまであのエクササイズをし,たしていただいて例えばアームカラー50回30回20回ということなんですけれどもこれはあの25回という方ではなくてあのできるだけやってみてというあの言い方をするとです、ね、この方は100回ぐらいまでできるんではないかというような勢いだったんですけれども。And so the next graphs that I will show you、um, talk about all of these different kinds of exercises. So again, here we have Uh, no katsu, just the exercise, and here we have this 100 millimeters of pressure in the cuffs on the arms and legs, and then here we have the situation where the cuffs are at 410 and 460. And these things, this is, this actually, this graph is about sympathetic activation, so the increase in sympathetic tone from Uh, the exercise as it comes through from the heart rate variability studies. And what you see here is that this is, this is、uh, right leg squats, single leg squats, this is left leg single leg squats, this is、uh, the double leg squats, these are push ups.、Um, and so each one of these things represents the exercises. And what you can see here is that there is much more sympathetic activation when he's doing the real katsu than. Either when he's doing the, what I call inadequate katsu or、uh, not having katsu bands on. はい、でこれがですねあの実際にそのカーツベルトをつけて適正圧であの運動したものが一番上でその次がですね不十分なカーツあの圧であのベルトを装着したものそして一番最後がそのカーツなしエクササイズのみということなんですけれどもこれを見ていて分かるのはですねやはり適,適正圧でもってあのきちんとカーツベルトを装着したものがですねエクササイズの際にあの交感神経がきちんと刺激されてですねその心拍の心拍が変動されてあのそれがおのノーノのあのグラフのところに例えばそのダブルレッグですとかその腕立てですとかそれ,それぞれのメニューがあの割り当てられているんですけれどもそのような動きをクリアに見ることができます。